What's going on everybody? My name is Eli and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Eli. I'm an incoming first year dental student at Boston University. I attended undergrad at the University of Maryland College Park and I did a post bag program called G Squared that's located at the George Mason and Georgetown Universities. So today I wanted to bring y'all a video describing how I studied for the DAT. I read some of your comments, some people reached out to me via Instagram and I wanted to you know, hurry up and put this video out because I know some people are getting ready to take the test around this time so they can study and I wanted to give y'all a breakdown of how I studied for the DAT by section, kind of introduce what the DAT is and elements about the test and just some general advice for test taking and taking the DAT. So for the people that saw my first video, I gave you guys a brief introduction to my channel as well as five tips on applying to dental school. For this video, I'll be giving you guys the whole breakdown of how I studied for the DAT and achieved a good score that was well enough to get me six interviews out of the 12 schools that I applied to. I have my laptop right here for notes, so excuse me if I look down for a little bit to kind of make sure I'm getting everything out to you guys. So just a little bit more about my channel. I know that my last video, the first video I did, I kind of jumped right into things and did a brief introduction, but I do want to reiterate that as the time goes on, I'm gonna let you guys get a little bit of a deeper look into my life and what I like to do outside of dentistry. That way um, you guys can get to know me more as a person. And of course, once I start school, I'm gonna be getting more dental school content and kind of life of a dental school type of videos out for you guys. But right now, I wanted to make sure that I start giving advice for pre dent students. That way you guys can already start to pick things out from my channel and get things that are beneficial to you guys before I even start school. But for those who are not aware, the DAT is the dental admission test. It's the standardized test that you have to take to apply to dental school, similar to what you take going to college, the SAT, similar to what law students take when they apply to law school, the LSAT, similar to what uh, pre-meds take when they apply to medical school, the, the MCAT. So the DAT is a four and a half hour test that consists of four sections, the survey of natural sciences, which encompasses biology, general chemistry, and organic chemistry. There's a reading comprehension section there's a quantitative reasoning section, which is just math questions. And there's also a PAT or perceptual ability test, which tests your perception essentially. And is kind of their way of judging whether you are fit to be a dentist. Uh, a lot of the work that you do is in someone's mouth. And you know, a lot of the times you have to work through a mirror or maybe a camera and it's not directly something you can see. So this is their way of judging your ability to do that on a test. So for a brief moment, let's talk about the pricing of the DAT. When I took the DAT, the exam cost $475. That's a pretty expensive exam. So I know the first thing you guys wanna know is how do you afford that? So if you go on the, D the website to take the DAT, they have a fee waiver that you can apply for um, it's a need-based fee waiver, but you may be able to reduce the cost of your DAT or even take it for free. While we're on the topic of funding and uh, paying for the DAT and applying, the AdSAS also has a fee waiver that will pay for you to apply to up to three schools. And that takes a very big chunk out of the amount of money you have to pay to apply for dental school. I also wanted to take the moment to highlight a scholarship that a friend of mine has started called the Precious K. Hollins Dental Endowment Scholarship. Precious is one of my fellow classmates. She's not attending Boston University, but she is class of 2025 of uh, dental students. And she started a scholarship, two $500 scholarships for pre-dental students that apply on her website. And I'll put the link of the website in the description box, as well as a small screen recording of what the website looks like and uh, how you can apply for this scholarship. So y'all know I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I'm gonna give you the exact score breakdown of my DAT 
what I got on every single section. That way you guys can pick and choose what advice you want to take from me and what advice you don't. And I can be completely honest of where I can give good advice and where I can't give so much good advice. I got an academic average of 21. My PAT score was 22. My quantitative reasoning score, which is the math section, was a 23. My reading comprehension score was a 29. My biology score was a 19. My general chemistry score was a 19. And my organic chemistry score was a 15. Yes, a 15. And I know that's gonna raise some eyebrows to many of you, but organic chemistry honestly was never one of my strong suits. I hate to say it. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned my total science score was an 18, but yeah, organic chemistry was never my super strong suit. I mean, I'm just going to be completely honest with you guys, so I probably can't give you the best advice for organic chemistry, but I can give you the advice that I heard from other people that may help you. In a general sense, I use DAT bootcamp to study for my DAT. This DAT bootcamp study service cost me about $400 dollars at the time that I registered. I think I registered at a time when they were running some kind of promotion, so I may have gotten uh, $50 off or so, but it did cost me a good amount of money to pay for DAT bootcamp, and I looked at it as an investment. So for the science portion of the DAT, which is biology, general chemistry, and organic chemistry, I studied basically by using the exact materials that DAT bootcamp gave me, which was a condensed biology notes that kind of reviewed bio biology and they tested you on the topics as you go and eventually you moved into full length uh, practice tests for that specific section. Uh, for the general chemistry they had videos and you can go over the topics and then you've taken a, uh, some kind of post test after watching the videos to test your understanding and I thought that really helped. Uh, they do the same thing for organic chemistry but uh, I tried to use the same kind of study method as I did for general chemistry and honestly I just wasn't picking it up. So one of the really neat things about DAT bootcamp is that it comes with a study schedule. While you don't have to stick to the study session exactly as it is, it does provide a good foundation of what you should be getting done on a week to week basis or a day to day basis, but every day you may not have enough time to get everything done in the schedule. While I was studying for the first five weeks or so, I was studying full time, eight hours a day, sticking to the schedule as much as I could. After those five weeks that I was able to study full time, I had to go back to school and I had to adjust the study schedule because I now had a full course load to deal with on top of studying for the DAT. So I'll continue with how I studied for each section broken down already went through the survey of natural sciences so next I'll talk about the reading comprehension section and how I got almost a perfect score. Honestly take some time to figure out which method works the best for you and DAT bootcamp will go through the vanilla method which is you just read the whole passage first and then answer the questions. One is called search and destroy where you look at the questions and then just kind of pick out the answers out of the passage um, and I think there's a few others. So I started off with search and destroy and I felt that it wasn't helping me very much and I moved on to do just the vanilla method and I thought that helped tremendously. So after that is math. I will be the first to tell you I do not believe in DAT bootcamp's ability to prepare someone for the math section. When I used DAT bootcamp all they did was give you a whole bunch of practice problems and a formula sheet and basically threw you into the fire. I don't think that was a good strategy, so I had to figure out another way to do it. I used Orgoman on YouTube and I went about it a specific way that I thought was very efficient so for what I needed to get done. So luckily for me, my math background was pretty strong. I got my practice in, but I was scoring over and over, nothing above a 17 on the practice sections for math. So I had to make an adjustment. Every day I would study one concept. And each day I would go back and redo the problems that I couldn't figure out before and study that one concept. And once I had it done, the next day we move on to a next concept. And that was how I studied for math. Next is the PAT section. Now this section is rough, but 
you have to remember that for the most part, if you're a first time test taker, you just like everyone else that's a first time test taker has never seen any problems like this before. DAT Bootcamp has a way of teaching you how to do each kind of problem, but the best you're gonna get at it is from practicing. Y'all see this thing that you keep in your hand all day, every day, if you're someone that's around my age, use it to your advantage. The best thing about DAT Bootcamp is that it had an app for your iPhone, for your Android, and on the app, they had a PAT generator. It's basically like playing, playing a game on your phone. Hey, where you get that? I'm gonna need that device. Bro. What I did on my phone is I made it a priority for the last three weeks leading up to my test to do 15 questions of each kind of PAT problem every day. So it was basically like I was taking the PAT section every day straight from my phone, but untimed. PAT, just like dentistry, is something that requires practice. So that's the way I went about PAT, and that's what got me a 22 on the PAT section of the DAT. So I'm really trying to get better and not rambling on the camera and going on and on about stuff you guys don't care about. So I wanted to keep this video kind of concise and short and just get straight to the point of how I studied for the DAT. If you're a pre-dent and you have questions about studying for the DAT, please don't hesitate to comment under the video or to reach out to me directly on Instagram. If you're a dental student and you're watching this video in support of me, I really appreciate you. If you'd like, Comment under the video and tell people how you studied for the DAT, especially if you had a different method of approaching things than how I did in this video. Most importantly, if you are a dental student and you studied a different way than DAT Bootcamp, tell people below. I know there are different test prep companies like Kaplan, iPrep, uh, DAT and Math Destroyer, PAT, Booster, all those different kind of things. If that was something that helped you, comment below so people can see. I truly thank you all for tuning into this video on how I study for the DAT. Again, like, comment, and subscribe so my videos can reach the people that really need to see them. I greatly appreciate all of my friends and family that support the channel and all the pre dents that are watching. I want you to know that I'm here for you and please reach out to me if you ever have any questions, need any advice or anything like that. I'm here to help. Thanks for rocking with me. I'll see y'all in the next video.